Hello everyone, and welcome to Grow Home. My name's Brandy Snack, and I think we're going to try and play this from start to finish. Although, depending on how long it is, I might go for two parts, but from what I hear, it is quite a short game. I have tried it. Very charming. So, anyway, let's get started. Okay, here we go. Man, that is a long way to fall. Oh wow, he's just like a cat, always lands on his feet. The physics seem a bit interesting, okay. Oh yes, I'm sure this beeping is very relaxing. There we go. Okay, look. Okay, so I'm guessing there's a hundred. Easy peasy. I saw a uh, Jack play this years ago. And I remember thinking it looked very charming, so uh, never got around to playing it though, but I'll have owned it for a while. So, uh, I don't know, I'm glad I've got the excuse to buy it, to be honest. Adorable. <laughs> Cannot make it. Yeah, it should be fine. Oh. No problem. I really thought those uh, spiky things were going to die. But uh, I don't know. I just remembered he dropped from space. No problem. So he's probably okay. I don't think I'm going to try and 100% it, because I don't think you need to get all of these. Um, although, maybe you do. Who knows? We'll see how it goes, I guess. Jeez. 
Okay. Okay, nope, not too far. Okay, the game is very cute. I feel like this does a lot better of a job. You know, this, I don't know what you'd call it, the, um, Sub genre, I guess, of like janky physics games. Yeah, I'm thinking of like Goat Simulator and stuff for that. I guess that's meant to be a bit um, strange. But uh, even though the physics, like the way he moves, even though it's very odd, it still feels responsive, which is nice. Oh dear. I mean, maybe not in that particular instance, but for the most part. Quite sure where to take this one. Ah. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Damn it. 
Jesus Christ, what is happening? is quite high. This dude never skips on day. I assume that's why he walks like a toddler. Laugh for the ah, that's quite nice actually. Okay, thank you, mom. Okay. Oh. Bit strange. Hey, that is giving off the same energy as Scratch on Ice Age. Oh dear lord, that is absolutely terrifying. Please, no. Oh my god, over here. That's crazy. Just, oh, oh dear. God, it's floating. It is demonic. Oh. It's the water. Okay, well, that's what I planned on doing anyway. I was just giving him a bath. I'm watching. Hmm. He seems as surprised to see me as I am surprised to see him.
know what I'm saying? He never skips on day. about this i'm just having a tea break i mean perfect timing it seems like the sun has set well risen Onward we go. Oh my god, we have reached the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, just watch you climb a mountain. Just, just grab it, please. Come on. Please. God. There we go. And he really does move like a drunken toddler. This is nice. I like this area. I had a... I had a fucking jetpack this entire time. Miss that. Wow. Miss this one. Wow. Do you see the strength of this absolute unit?
Um, that would have been so cool. Oh, well. Even the plant is hard to control. Oh, I thought it mm. is disappointing. This might have been a very silly thing to do. Come on. Come on. Come on, there we go. Uh. Oh. made it nice.
don't think we're getting the hang of this. But... This is so close. Oh no. Come on. Go kick. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Mark. Oh, his name's Bud. A budding flower. Get the you son of No. Okay. Yes, thank you. I'm clearly doing very well i can tell
I don't think I thought this through well enough. Oh, maybe not. Oh no. Okay. Hmm. Never mind. It was easier than I thought. You know, you just can't not overthink things, you know. Wow, just like Pandora. Have you guys seen Avatar 2, by the way? Pretty good. 3D was nice. Very, I mean, I'm not really not exactly saying anything original here, am I? Avatar 2 was pretty good, and 3D was nice. You're welcome, world. What would you have done without me? Wow. Did you see that? That was amazing. Nearly lost my call there. That's okay. I do have a feeling that my overconfidence is going to undo me at some point. But until then, I think I'm just going to enjoy it. Never mind. I'm amazing. Is it even overconfidence? If you're this good at climbing? No, I didn't merely fall off just then. You're insane. Stop trying to gaslight me and go to bed. This is very pretty. I do think it would be nicer in the daytime, however. See? When I was thinking about what type of content I wanted to make. I don't know. When I first thought about doing Twitch and YouTube, I was kind of like, well, you know, I could do something like what everyone else does. But personally, my editing skills are lacking. And, you know, I could learn what I mean. It's pretty evident, I think, that even YouTubers who do that kind of editing don't enjoy it, because they always seem to hire editors, more than one, most of the time. I guess you could argue, you know, at a certain point when it becomes your job, you just can't keep up with that output. But, uh, I don't know, I found... So I've gone older, quite enjoy more relaxed content. I tend to only watch YouTube just before bed. Normally quite busy in the day, just, you know, doing other things. Either university or work or whatever. And I tend to find YouTube quite a nice way to, like, de-stress. 
quite like ASMR content, but it's also quite not boring, but you know, I tend to only really watch ASMR if I know I'm going to bed or I'll fall asleep within five minutes. So, I feel like these kind of videos where it's you know, it's a let's play, there's things going on. Maybe you want to, you know, see the game and not necessarily play it yourself. But at the same time, it's quite soft spoken. No, I think it's nice. Like a semi ASMR, but as a let's play. Um, oh, I know it's not like an original concept or anything. I think the first time I saw stuff like this was. um. Markiplier's World's Quietest Let's Play series when I was younger and I was like wow that's a really good idea I think that was around the time I started to watch ASMR so I ended up thinking I'm it's, it's nice I'm not sure if my mic setup is really correct for this kind of content um so if you guys have any tips, you can, you know, leave it in the comments. Um, yeah. Or if it's perfect, you can also just say it's perfect. And I nailed it on the first try. Kind of weird though, isn't it? Like, this kind of content. Okay. That looks very sauce. Kind of stay out of those. I mean, I know like GB and stuff has spoken about this, but like, why is ASMR so embarrassing to admit that you watch? Like, I don't know. Very like, I think, I don't know. I think this type of content, like if you showed somebody this, and again, I'm not strictly trying to do an ASMR video, but there are videos like this that are like ASMR Let's Plays, and that's easier to swallow, but I don't know, for somebody who doesn't watch ASMR, I guess, don't even know what I'm trying to say, I guess it's just confusing. I showed it my girlfriend because I, you know, I thought I was like, yeah, I, li I like ASMR, and I remember she was just like, "That's so weird. Why are you watching this person whisper? And like whispering is like the most normal when you start getting into like the the ASMR role play videos. I mean, it gets it does get very weird." Um. I don't know, it's relaxing, who knows. The brain's weird. There are certainly, you know, weirder things to relax to, so. Just, I'm not going to question it. Do I just get this leaf forever now? That's nice. Oh no, wow, I nailed it. I don't know why I keep saying, oh no, we've already established. I am amazing at this game. Mm. Oh, I see. It's like the Arkham games, you gotta like swoop down to get the momentum. Mm. Wow. I am a little sad, I can't, you know, combine it with the jetpack simultaneously. I mean, I guess I could if I was to, like, deactivate it, but I don't really want to. It seems too risky. We're here now anyway, so turns out it wasn't very necessary. In fact, I think we're nearly at the end of the game. 
I looked up a few times, and it seems like after this, it's just... I mean, we kind of are already back in space nearly, so I assume the plant can't grow this high, or, you know, maybe I'm wrong and it can. Who knows? Who am I to say what the plant can and can't do? We... Oh God, oh Jesus. Nailed it. This is the problem. I'm trying to find games to do this kind of commentary to. This like calming, I hope it's calming commentary. It's pretty tough because I was thinking like, oh, I need to play like a quiet sort of game. Like, you know, I couldn't play God of War. He's far too angry. I was like, oh, I'll do Resident Evil 2, maybe. I quite like that game. And, you know, it's quite quiet, atmospheric. Um, quite like the idea of, like, subverting expectations, because uh, the typical YouTube thing to do is be very over the top, I think, during, you know, horror games, but then I realised I'm a massive coward and I hate horror games and I really doubt I could maintain this level of composure while playing Resident Evil. I mean, I've nearly lost my cool so many times during just this video and, I mean, look at it. It's the most child friend. I mean, you have teleporters. I don't even know what I'm afraid of. If I were to drop, nothing would happen. I could just, I could just climb back up again. But it, it feels. I mean, that's a testament to the developers. I guess it still feels very tension filled. Um, we're getting like really high there. Wow! Look at that shot. It's beautiful. Finished Persona 5 recently, and firstly, that game is amazing, um, but the art style in it is such a standard, like, I think that's the only game where the menus are memorable, oh dear lord, you know what I mean, I nearly panicked there again, you know, after a certain point, he just kind of gives up on life, and then he just kind of reboots himself and realises, oh, I don't grab anything, I'm going to die. There we go. Wow. Much is a thousand metres. I feel like it's not much. This planet's atmosphere is tiny. I mean, I guess looking at the curve of the Earth, it is just a very tiny planet. I mean, maybe that's why I like it all so slowly, I guess. Yes, I am clearly a very talented physicist. I'm not. I'm not a physicist. I do have a friend. No, actually, he's doing biomed. Okay. Then I've got nobody to ask. Somebody can correct me in the comments. No. There is something very satisfying about seeing the plant grow. And the fact, like, it's unique to my playthrough, you know. Like, this is my plant. But what would have added to it more is if I could have named the plant, you know, and like customized it.
that's the other big problem with these videos. Like, I know I could edit them, but I don't want to. But secondly, I, I don't know. I'm kind of... Well, I had somebody say to me, I should make the kind of content I would want to watch. And as I said, because I mostly watch YouTube, and I kind of like these long-form videos. Like, I'll watch just one video over the course of, like, three days, because it's like an hour video, and I'll just play it just before bed. Um, there's a channel I love to watch while doing that. I think it's... Is it always nerdy? I'll have to double-check that. But, um... He does uh, like retrospective reviews for like old games. Not that old. I think he did Arkham Knight recently. Um, but like he did the Ghost Rider game. Which are those weird games that you remember as a child and you swear only you played it because you just don't know anybody else. He, he reviews those kind of games. The best part is, most of the time, those weird games you swear only you played and that were amazing, were really good. Like, the Ghost Rider game is so embedded in my mind. Like, <laughs> I mean, I know mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's considered pretty bad nowadays, but uh, I used to watch, um, I used to love the uh, Ghost Rider movie back in the day with Nicolas Cage. And, like, that was what the, the game was based off. It was, like, a movie tie-in thing, I think. Um, but it was amazing. You could, like, drive his bike and, like, shoot your gun and stuff while driving. And, obviously, you know, I mean, I'm surprised Ghost Rider's not more popular. I guess it's kind of expensive to make his movies, but, like... You're telling me MCU fans, like, you know, teenage kids, would not love the visual of a skeleton on a bike who's on fire and has a shotgun. That's just amazing. I've completely lost track of my train of thought. Oh, I think this game <laughs> has done something to me. It's like... It's not relaxing. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's quite tension filled, actually. But uh, the higher I get, the more I seem to want to talk. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like a trance. Okay. We're nearly there, I think. Come on. I don't think it's going to make it. It's always very unsatisfying when it's this close. Oh, no, come on. This is so sad. Makes it look nuts, though. I think I might do a Let's Play of Lego Batman. I want to do the first one because... I think it might be a bit dated at this point, but I used to love Lego Batman 2. I mean, it was such an ambitious game, I think. I like to have a fully explorable open world, and it had vehicles and flying characters, and, you know, the Flash could just run about the city very fast. It was amazing. Um... I've not played Lego Batman 3 because I heard it didn't have an open world, which I think is a bit of an odd choice. It really feels like a step back, but I do know you go to like, you know, alien planets and stuff, so who knows? Maybe it'll be worth the trade off.
Here we go. Last leg. Yeah, we're in space. We're so close. Um, I'm coming. Wait for me. That's the other weird thing about making content. Like, you know, you have to kind of admit that you think people will find you entertaining. But like, you don't really know if people will. Like, is this entertaining? I've been told I have a somewhat relaxing voice, at least under some circumstances, but you know, that's my people, like my girlfriend, who could very well be lying to me because she loves me. <laughs> so, I don't know. Going under the scrutiny of the internet as well is pretty scary, to be honest. You know, quite uh, I like my privacy, as you can tell by the lack of webcam. So, so I don't know. It's fun, I, do, I will say that. Even if nobody is watching. Which is a weird one, like... I mean... The original plan was to exclusively just do Twitch. It seems very easy. But the problem is... I mean... You start off with zero viewers, so like... Who are you talking to? I mean, there's a good chance nobody will watch this video either. But, because it's not in real time, I can at least pretend. <laughs> so it's a lot less awkward to just talk. I will say it is fun. Though. Like, ooh. It's kind of like make pretend when you're a kid. Like I'm not really, like nobody's really watching this right now. But, you know, I'm talking as if there is and it's, it's fun. It's like, you know, you see, I mean, I grew up watching YouTubers, you know, what is happening? What is happening? Why is it? I don't understand what is happening. Um, you know, I grew up watching YouTubers kind of make these kind of videos. So doing it myself is quite a fun experience or like surreal I guess it is also kind of I think it kind of works like a video diary I tried keeping a diary for a while but there was something so awkward I mean firstly I'm not much of a writer but there's something so awkward about having just a book in your house so I, I went for the much more private option of publicly posting it on the internet okay nearly there let's go this has been a fun time. I mean, it's a very short game, but I think that's all it really needs to be. It really has been quite therapeutic to just talk. I mean, yeah, I talk a lot in the beginning because it's very awkward for me to do this. I'm not a particularly shy person, but the idea that somebody I know could stumble across this video of me just like talking very quietly into the mic, I don't know, it's a bit weird, but who knows, maybe somebody out there will get some level of enjoyment, but at the very least it's providing me quite a, an interesting pastime. Because I, I love video games. I love discussing video games. I'd love to, um, you know, get some people in the Twitch chat. You know, talk about games we like and stuff. Um, 
I did have somebody the other day. And, you know, he was asking me what I'm playing right now and stuff, and that was really fun. Um, he suggested CSGO. Oh my god, the gravity's turned down. Amazing. But, I don't know. I'm not much of a first-person shooter kind of guy. There have been a few over the years I've really enjoyed. Obviously, when I was a kid, COD was the big thing. Um, Siege, I think, is the most amount of time I've spent on a first-person shooter game, like a um, multiplayer game. Um, right now, though, Overwatch 2, I think, is the only first-person shooter I'm playing, and my friend had to convince me to play that. I was very reluctant. But it's good. It's really good, especially with a friend. Well, especially with a friend who knows how to play it, because he can you know, explain what to do and who the good and bad characters are. Came to to rob him. Okay, this should be the last one. Oh, I'm a little sad to see it over, to be honest. This was very relaxing. I hope it was relaxing for you guys too. If not, Please berate me in the comments. <laughs> Not too harshly. Please be kind, don't do. I'm trying my best. <laughs> no, for real though. No, thank you anyone who's watched this far. Or maybe skipped to the end. To see if I actually said anything of substance. Unfortunately, the answer to that is no. But I appreciate you stopping by nonetheless. Okay, we'll just we'll get this last checkpoint. Who knows, maybe I'll feel the need to come back and get all of the gems. I think I might just Google it though, like what the rewards are. Like is it is it really worth collecting one hundred? Who knows, maybe it'll give me like an infinite jetpack. That might be fun. I think this might have been fun and co-opt it. Oh, actually I've got quite a ways. I was getting ready. I had already started to do the sign off, but look how far I've got to go. Miles. Oh, you know, actually we can use the leaf, I've just remembered. Never mind, it might be very soon. Boy. Oh no. Oh no, what have I done? I'm free fall. Oh no. Okay. My fault. Okay, that was also my fault. Oh no. I thought my leaf lasted forever. But I'm leafless. This is an absolute tragedy. Because I don't actually think I can get another leaf. To be fair, because I'm in space. Like, I literally am in space. I can see meteors floating. Why can't I float? You know? I feel like I should be able to do a wall and just, you know, start flying up there. But apparently not. I guess that would make the game too easy. I do feel though that would have made a nice little reward for players, you know? Oh my god, I'm a genius. I'm going to use this as transport. Look at me go. I'm actually the world's best grow home player. Wow. Look at me go. So close. Come on. Okay. Nailed it. Now, the smart play would probably be to, you know, leave the leaf, considering I messed it up so badly last time. But I'm not a smart person. 
I am a talented one though. Look at that. Oh. We did this to get a seed. I see. Oh God. Oh Jesus. I don't know why he fell. That was terrifying. Please don't do that again. Oh no. How do I get these in the ship? What do I do? Please no. Listen, Mom, I'm trying to retrieve the star seed, but the star seed doesn't want to be retrieved. Please, no. Don't know how to get the seed. Please. No. Earth. Listen. How do I get that? Oh. Fine. We're just going to go for it. We can do this. I, I don't think I can get that in there. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I don't think that's possible. Okay, I guess we're going for it. And we nailed it. Let's try. I never had any doubts. If any of you say I had any doubts, you're liars. Ow. Come on, bud. Going home. Our adventure was long, but it's finally over. Yay. Mom is going to be so proud of us. And I'm proud of us too. Why hasn't the game ended? Like, oh, I'll see mom. You're right, of course, game. Thank you. Hello. Adorable. Hip hip hooray. Those were fantastic fireworks. Thank you, Mom. Hey, we did it. Very nice. This music is insanely loud. I'm sorry for anyone who fell asleep to this video. I mean, maybe it's not coming through that loud for you guys. But anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Um, and yeah. Have a nice night, have a nice day, like the video if you liked it, and feel free to subscribe. Good night.